Positron Systems has developed an innovative non-destructive inspection technique to evaluate the material condition in metallic parts based on the principles of positron annihilation spectroscopy. This technique, called Induced Positron Analysis, or IPA for short, is performed by our PS6100 inspection platform. The PS6100 integrates all of the specialized equipment needed to perform IPA into one device, as well as enabling part manipulation and management of the entire measurement project. Positrons are the antimatter equivalent of the electron. This means they are very short-lived in our universe, quickly annihilating with electrons. When they meet, the positron and electron are converted into pure energy. IPA begins with the implantation of a positron into a material under test. Here we show two positrons. After a period of slowing down, the positron begins to wander about the material's crystal lattice structure. Some positrons will trap in a feature such as a dislocation or a vacancy. Others will not. However, all of the positrons will eventually annihilate with an electron and emit a characteristic energy signal. Positrons outside of a trapping feature will tend to come into contact and annihilate with higher momentum core electrons, which are closer to an atom's nucleus. Positrons that are in a trap will tend to annihilate with lower momentum valence or conduction electrons. The momentum of the electron a positron annihilates with influences the perceived energy of the gamma energy signal due to the Doppler effect. Hundreds of thousands of positron annihilation events are recorded in one IPA measurement. Depending on how the gamma energy signals have been influenced by the electron's momentum, the resulting compilation peak of energy measurements can be sharper or broader. A sharper peak indicates more positron traps or defects. The S parameter is used to characterize this peak shape. This cylindrical device is the gamma detector that receives the signal from the annihilating positrons. This small plastic disc is the positron emitting probe that implants the positrons into the material under test. Inspection Manager is the software developed by Positron Systems to perform and manage IPA measurements. Tests are arranged by customer and project. Inspections can be developed for a part, each with multiple measurements. Characteristics of each measurement can be assigned and tracked. Here, coordinates of the robotic part manipulator are stored. Measurements are controlled from this screen. Results from the measurements, such as the S parameter or other data, can be viewed within Inspection Manager. Also, data can be exported for use in other software. The PS6100 is capable of moving a part in an X or Y direction, as well as rotating it. The movement of the detector provides a z-axis. Custom grips can be made to facilitate the accurate and repeatable loading of parts. Here a compressor blade from an aircraft turbine engine is inserted into the grips. During a measurement, the part is moved into position and the positron emitting probe is placed against the part. The system acquires the needed signals from the positron annihilation events. When the measurement is completed, the part is moved to the next measurement location. This graph represents the data gathered from the inspection of the compressor blade shown earlier using IPA technology. These results accurately depict the current material condition in the blade due to the cold work process. With this ability to non-destructively assess the condition of these blades, as well as other components of similar materials, we believe that the users of this technology will be able to reduce costs significantly in addition to eliminating uncertainties of the actual component condition. For more information on induced positron analysis or the PS6100, please contact Steve Laney or Tim Wilson.